guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to Alex Sports. Hope you guys are having a good day. Before we start the video, like I've been talking about previously about changing the channel name. But right now, thanks to some guy named Johnny Talk Shows. Thank you guys for the recommendation. I like changing the name to Necessary Roughness where we criticize players instead of Unnecessary Roughness. We do Necessary Roughness to criticize players who deserve it and who have had lack of performance or something bad happened or anything. That's the thing you gotta do. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's a favorite right now. I might change into that. If you guys have any opinions, please let me know. Anything will do. But let's just get right into the video. Let's just start off with soccer or the Copa del Rey news. As Barcelona beat Levante, I believe it was. Let me make sure. It was Celta Vigo, oh my bad. To score 5 to 0. Messi had praise. But we're on the topic of Barcelona. They just revealed the new signing of center back Yuri Mina from Palermas. For a fee of allowed on 11 to 13 million. This is a fantastic signing. Pretty is a perfect replacement for Marcherano, who will be definitely be gone this summer. And I can just imagine their back line of um Titty and Mina in like a few years, even though PK is still there. I think they have a very talented roster going forward. And they've been hitting the ball this transfer window with Mina because they finally signed him. They got Coutinho. Will they sign Alex? Who knows? Let me know what you guys think about that. Let's get some NBA news, starting off with the Celtics beating 76ers, score of 114-103. to Another team blows a huge lead at 76ers with a 22-point lead. Jesus, this is going to be, this is what 2018 is turning into, just blowing leads. And also the Raptors beat the Cavaliers, score of 133-99, to they whooped their ass. Then we can get to college basketball news, another upset, what would you fucking guess? As NC State beat number 19 Clemson, score of 78 to 77 Every game, there's an upset. It's just, a, it's just a fact. And then let's get to our final story, which is talking about in the title is Le'Veon Bell. As you know, Le'Veon Bell was had a franchise tag this season for around 12 million. It's the most out of any running back. No one makes as much as he does. However, this year he will be a free agent. Should he be paid more, like a wide receiver, 18 million, not just 15 million, like he would be franchise tag, which makes sense. Because there's a report, I don't know if it was ESPN, I know they covered it, I don't know who the first person reported was, said that Le'Veon Bell will sit out or retire next season if he is franchise tagged again by the Steelers. Like I said, it'll be 15 million. It'll be 3 million more than this season, so it'll be the most money by running back. However, it won't be the most money by a receiver or be competition with the receiver money. If you haven't known, Le'Veon Bell was not just a top running back, he was also a top receiver. He had like over 85 receptions. He had insane, he was insane catching. And this man does deserve his money. Do I think he would retire or sit out when he has a franchise like a 15 million? No. However, he also did respond to the reports quoting this on his Twitter saying, I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. I can care less about what happens after the season. My biggest thing I'm focused on is this team I'm on right now. Playing for and with my brothers and bringing back a 7th ring. What happens next year is relevant to my goals. Is exactly what he's supposed to say, good for him. However, if these rewards are true, if they are going to franchise tag him, they can't figure out a deal. They don't franchise tag him, the Levin Bell tells him he can't, and he wants to go test free agency market. I'm saying this the 49ers are the team to watch out for. Yes, you can maybe see the lines because they need a running back. However, the 49ers have the same insane amount of cap space. If they're going to re sign Jimmy Garoppolo for the same amount of money, you have a duo of Garoppolo and fucking Le'Veon Bell. That's Super Bowl contenders right there. Just saying it. Not my. I can't argue with that. You cannot argue that they will be a top team with that, that duo. Jimmy Garoppolo 5 0 with Carlos Hyde, who isn't bad, but with that roster around him. If what they spend the money, like I believe, and go off on their signings this season, they can be a top team if they sign Le'Veon Bell. Let me know what you guys think about this. I don't think he's even pissed for the video. But if he does te test free agency market, please go to the Giants. Really, that would be the greatest thing to happen to me. But I don't think he's ever going to do that. Or we don't have enough cap for it. But where do you guys think he's going to go? Do you believe in these reports? Do you think this is just fake news? And that's going to be it for today's video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And peace.